Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Did you know you can easily copy and paste between your Apple devices? Even if you did, let me show you some ways to use it that you may not know about. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now you can copy on one Apple device, say a Mac, and then paste on another, say another Mac or an iPhone or an iPad. And You can do this pretty easily. Matter of fact, you probably already have it enabled. This is called Universal Clipboard. You could read more about it here and it also shows you the requirements. Obviously you should be using one of the more recent versions of Mac OS. You should be signed on using the same Apple ID on both devices. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi should both be turned on even if you're not using them on the devices. And There's a feature called Handoff that's enabling this and you should have that turned on. You probably have all that already so you probably could already do this. So Let me show you how it works. There's really nothing special to do at all. You can select some text just anywhere you would normally select text. And This is on my Mac Studio here and I'm just going to use Edit Copy or I could just do Command C. Then here on my MacBook Air I can be in another app where you'd normally would paste text and I could use Edit, Paste or just Command V. Now there's some rules around this. The clipboard only lasts on the other Mac or device for about one to two minutes. So it doesn't stay there forever. So something you copy now isn't going to be there an hour from now. It's kind of a temporary thing. Also, of course, anytime you copy something else on that other device, it's going to replace it just like it would normally for a clipboard. So it's built to copy and then pretty much immediately paste on the other device. And the same thing works with other Apple devices as well. So here, for instance, I have an iPhone. I'm going to Command C to copy here from Pages on my Mac. And then in Notes on my iPhone, I'm going to click and paste. And you can see it's actually going to ask for permission. And I'll allow it. And I've just pasted that text there. And now I can select something here, copy it, and then on my Mac, I can paste. Now you can do more than just copying text. For instance, here I am in the Photos app on one Mac. I'm going to select a photo here. I'm going to go to Edit, Copy or Command C. And then on this Mac, I'm in the Mail app and I'm composing a message and I'm going to Command V and it's going to paste that image into my email message. The same would even work for videos. I can select this video here, Copy and then on the other Mac I can Paste and it's going to paste that video in. You can do it with image selections as well. So I'm in Preview here on this Mac. I'm going to select an area. I'm going to Command C to copy. And then on this Mac here I'm in Pixelmator Pro and I'm going to Command V to paste. And it's going to paste that selected part of the image into that different app on the different Mac. Now here's probably the most powerful example. You can use this as a way to share files. You probably know you can share files with old fashioned network file sharing. You could also of course use iCloud Drive since both of these Macs are using the same Apple ID. And you could use AirDrop. But another way to do it is to copy and paste a file. So I could say select this file here on one Mac and copy it and you know that I could go to another directory on this Mac and then paste it in. It would make a copy of that file. But I can now do this on the other Mac. So the other Mac here I'm just going to do Command V to paste and it's going to paste a copy of that file there. And it even works with multiple files at least in a lot of cases. So for instance I can select these two files here. Command C to copy and then Command V over here to paste and it will paste both of them. Now there are a lot of places where it doesn't work. For instance if you try to copy a section from GarageBand or iMovie and you try to paste it into the same app on a different Mac or an iPhone or an iPad it's not going to work. Those are usually referencing other parts of other files and things like that. But it does work in Pages, Numbers and Keynote for elements inside the document. So for instance here in Pages I'm going to select the text box, the shape, and this image here. And I'm going to copy. And then in Pages over here on this other Mac I'm going to Paste. And all of those elements will come through. In Keynote you can do the same thing. I'm going to select some text, a shape, even a chart, copy over here, and then Paste over here. And all those elements come through. What's even more interesting is that you can select Slides, copy those slides, and then go to this document and Paste. And it will paste the entire slides into that other document on that other Mac. You can do it in numbers as well, copying different elements or even copying cells. So let me copy a bunch of cells like this and then I'm going to go over here and paste the values for those cells. 
So here's a handy tip. You can actually view the contents of the clipboard if you're in the Finder. The Finder has a special window under Edit Show Clipboard that shows the contents of the clipboard. Here are those cells that I copied before. Now if I were to copy something on this other Mac here, like the text here on this web page, it's not going to show up right away. But I do notice that if you click away from the window and then back into it, then you'll see it. It seems that Universal Clipboard doesn't activate automatically. You have to actually do a paste or some other action like for instance clicking away and clicking back in and you can see the contents. So if you've copied from one Mac or maybe your iPhone or iPad and want to paste in and you want to check the contents first this is a handy way to do it. Once you start using Universal Clipboard you'll find all sorts of uses for it. Copying a URL from one web browser on one device to another one on another device. Copying a text message that's on your iPhone and pasting it into a document you're working on on your Mac. There are lots of different ways you can use it. The big catch though is sometimes it doesn't work. Now this has gotten a lot better over the years. This feature has been around for a few years and at the beginning a lot of people reported not being able to get it to work despite seeming to have the settings correct. That's gotten less and less but you still hear people that think that they've got everything set up perfectly and yet it's still not working. If that happens maybe try doing a restart. Try toggling on and off the different settings. But if you're still having trouble and you really need this feature to work for you then the next step is to contact Apple support. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.